you put products in your hair two days later your hair is looking dry like you did nothing to it well in today's video i'm going to be showing you from experience how i've learned how to tweak hair conditioners in order to get amazing results i'm also going to be showing you the spray i use that helps with this routine i will also be showing you step by step what exactly to do when you moisturize your hair in order to let the moisture stay in your hair for longer periods so that you can be able to finally retain the length you have been going from your scalp and with that let's just get right into the video Be sure to stick to the end of the video so you do not miss any of the steps I'm going to be showing you. Hello sisters, welcome back. So the first thing we are going to be needing is a very good base. I'm going to be using my leave-in conditioner as my base. When I say a good base, I mean hair conditioners that have products you know help with hair growth. Ayurvedic herbs like fenugreek, hibiscus, ingredients like eggs, banana, avocado, and oils like olive oil, castor oil, rosemary oil. These are the ingredients you should look out for in a very good conditioner, not just any conditioner with ingredients you do not even know you've not heard of. In my case, the conditioner I'm using today is based in castor oil and almond oil. These are important because they are going to give us an idea of the right things to be able to mix with our conditioner in order to get the best result. As I said earlier, my leave-in conditioner is based in castor oil and almond oil. I did not have almond oil, so I had to improvise with the Moroccan argan enriched hair oil. So that's what I'm going to be adding to my leave-in conditioner first. I'm going to add about 2 to 3 teaspoons of this oil to my leave-in conditioner. After adding my Moroccan argan oil, the next thing I'm going to be adding is my castor oil and I'm also going to add about 2 to 3 teaspoons of this oil. Now, you might be wondering why are we doing all this. The thing is, these conditioners are made for hair textures that are lighter than ours. Hair textures that are less dense than ours. So when we use these same conditioners in our thick fussy hair we do not get great results that's why from experience i've learned that you have to tweak these conditioners according to the needs of your hair in order to get the best results from them especially in regards to our own texture of hair this method fortifies your conditioner in order to meet your hair needs this way you do not take time moisturize your hair with raw conditioner after two days your hair dries out it doesn't happen in this situation because you have fortified your conditioner in able to cater for your own hair needs as you can see here i'm just mixing everything together and again as you can see it makes it so well it makes it so well because i added the right kind of oils to this max check the bottle of your leave-in conditioner if it's coconut that's on it make sure that you add coconut oil okay if it's like olive that's on it make sure you add olive oil if you do not have the same exact ones you can use similar oils like in my case i didn't have almond oil but almond and argan oils are similar so i used argan oil hope you guys understand and with that my max is ready i'm going to move on to applying the max into my hair if you have any question about the mixing process or the oils that can mix with any kind of conditioner just let me know in the comment section below i'll answer you now as you can see my hair is dried the weather is cold the weather wants to suck all the life out of our hair but we are not going to let that happen so as you can see i've sectioned off my hair but i'm not going to just apply the the conditioner directly i'm going to first use my herbal spray now sisters i have a link to how i make this spray in the comment section i also have it in my description box please be sure to check out that video of course you can apply the leave-in conditioner directly to your hair okay but it's better when you first go in with a moisturizing herbal spray before you apply the leave-in conditioner that way you know that indeed you are giving your hair every right condition in order for it to try i'm going to continue spraying my hair with the herbal spray detangle it with my hands before i go in using more of the leave-in conditioner notice that at this point i've still not used comb if you've been following me on my channel you know that i only comb my hair when i want to do a hairstyle or when i need to trim my hair okay apart from that i do not use combs in my hair especially for normal detangling sections like this my fingers do just fine my fingers my herbal hair good spray and the 
and the living conditioner mix they work perfectly and that's how come i continue to see great results from my hair routines if you have enjoyed this video up to now you've learned something you're still learning something please be sure to give me a thumbs up subscribe if you're not yet subscribed share this video with your friends your family your sisters let them also learn a thing or two from this video i'm just going to finger the tangle like this until i'm done with the rest of my hair i'm not going to do all on camera because nobody has time to watch that <laughs> but i'm going to just show you a bit of how i do the detangling using my fingers using my fingertips on my scalp using it on my hair in order to get the products well spread into my hair there's one last thing i do in my moisturizing routine i'll be touching on it in a second but this is how the process generally goes And with the twist I make, I make medium sectioned twists, not too small to give me too much stress. Anyways, here I'm just showing you how my hair looks when it's not moisturized in relation to when it's moisturized. So I'm done with all my twists. As you can see, I'm done with my twist. I'm just going to take my spray and spray my scalp. Very important, guys spray your scalp it helps reduce itchiness it helps with hair growth you cannot skip this step after moisturizing your hair make sure to give a little more care to your scalp because that's where your hair goes from after spraying the spray on my scalp fingertips to massage my scalp again especially my edges you know we are trying to grow our edges here i'm done with all the conditioner and this is the amount of hair i lost from this whole detangling section Again, as I said earlier, do not forget your edges. Give your edges a little extra love and care. You are going to see the results in no time. So I'm done with the twist. I'm done spraying my scalp. I'm done massaging my scalp. I'm just going to tie all the twists at the back of my head. Then the next thing I'm going to do is take a polythene bag. I'm trying to be stylish. So I went to the green polythene bag. Tie the polythene bag around your head. This way, the heat from your body provides a warm environment that is able to make your product diffuse better into your hair. After I'm done, I'm just taking my scalp. Then I'm going to put on my scalp and that is it for my moisturizing routine. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are not yet subscribed. Thanks so much for watching. It's Miss Senny and I'm out.